Hey folks, today's a computer update video. I haven't one, done one of these in a while because there's really been nothing to say. Plus, I've been going through some uh, weird bouts with a video card. Where'd I put the box? Here it is. Uh, for my Linux machine, I got a good deal on this RX 570, which is an 8 gig version made by Sapphire. Got a pretty good deal with it on Amazon. Turned out the card was defective. It did some really weird stuff that I thought was VBIOS related or something. On the Linux machine, I would leave it overnight, or, you know, just leave the computer on overnight or whatever. And um, the, the I.O. on the computer would just cut out entirely. Like, keyboard, mouse, monitor, everything would cut out. Even the microphone would cut out. It's ridiculous. Just the I Something made the I.O. of the thing just cut out and hard lock up. So I I had to reset it a bunch of times, and I got really sick of it. I decided to stick an RX 560 I had in, in here to see if that would change it, and the problems went away immediately. So this card clearly was the culprit. So I RMA'd it, and uh, I got another one of these back, and the card I got back was much, 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 much less problematic. The problems I experienced with the Linux... Um, or with Linux in general and this hardware seems to be mostly related to Linux really not knowing what to do with a video card that uses a UEFI vBIOS which this card does and a lot of the times on the Windows driver they fix the flaws in the driver itself or in software so Linux I'm betting didn't just didn't have those patches yet because this is kernel 4.15 on uh, Kubuntu 1804. By the way, I switched to Kubuntu 1804 on the system because the Debian kernel was just too old and testing was too unstable. So Kubuntu is on the main desktop now, but not really on much else yet. We'll see what happens with that. I like to play around with OSs. So yeah, but anyway, I got this back from the RMA, tested it in that machine, found it still had problems, but they were different problems. They were related to uh, the actual, they were related to Linux rather than with the hardware, which is what I wanted to see, to be honest. That tells me that this card is probably going to last a little bit longer, at least hopefully. Uh, the old one was very flaky. So what I did was I put the RX 570 into the Windows box right here to test it out. I played Forza Horizon 4 just to push it. It had zero stability problems in Windows like nothing wrong so I'm fairly certain the drivers in Windows have made up for um, or at least have compensated for the fact that UEFI based firmware on video cards exists now so I stuck my RX 580 which is an Asus variant into the Linux machine and that was also extremely stable that fact that's what's running the machine right now that's been very stable so seems that the ideal setup here is to put the higher end video card into the lower end system and put the slightly lower end video card to the high end system which is a very odd setup but that's what I've had to do to make this reliable UEFI based cards don't play that well with Linux for some reason yet I mean they're gonna work eventually I mean they they always fix that sort of stuff as long as you report the bugs but uh, on Windows it seems to work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the RX 580 in the Linux machine it's just gonna stay there and I'm gonna leave the RX 570 in the Windows box for you know the remainder of this year next year AMD is supposed to uh, release a new architecture I believe it's called the Navi architecture so I wanna see how good that architecture is and if it's a if it's a big improvement I'll just upgrade to that in the Windows box so that I have the higher-end card and the higher-end machine again but honestly, both cards, since I chose this Sapphire variant of the RX 570, both have 8 gigs of uh, VRAM. So I really shouldn't have too much trouble running the games I want to run, which is stuff like Counter-Strike, Forza Horizon 3 and 4, um, what else, Sec um, Second Life, that's not really a game, it's more like a simulator type of thing. Um, golf with your friends, <laughs> that game is funny. And, uh, of course, the new Doom that's going to come out, I think it's called Doom Eternal, will more than likely run on that card just fine. It might not run at the full 1440p that I want to run, but as long as it runs at 1080, for the time being, I'm happy. 1080p still looks surprisingly good on this 1440p display, so I'm not upset by that. And, uh, yeah, that's that's been a weird thing to go through with these two machines, but I'm glad I finally found a way to make them both work reliably. So hopefully the Navi architecture from AMD is good. 
If it is, I'll definitely upgrade to it on the Windows machine. Um, and uh, other than that, I, uh, I do have some computer videos down the pike. I have some vintage stuff. Uh, I have, well, I guess you could call some of it vintage and some of it semi-modern, I suppose. But um, I have some st vintage stuff, some Apple-related stuff coming. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I just thought I'd uh, tell you guys about this whole video card saga because I found it very odd. Like the, These UEFI-based video cards, I think, are fairly new to the market. So I think Linux just doesn't know what to do with it yet. There must be some kind of system call or something to do with the PCI bus that makes the system reboot. I, f I forgot to mention, when I the second card I got back from Sapphire would make this machine reboot randomly. So that's the reason I moved it into the Windows machine and it turned out to be stable. So Anyway, yeah, UEFI-based graphics cards in Linux don't seem to play that well together at the moment. Hopefully that'll improve. I know it will. It's just a question of how soon will it improve. So there you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.